Sue and welcome to Curly Sue's Kitchen. Today we're broadcasting live from the Westfield Shopping Centre in Stratford in London and today I'm going to be making for you some vegan chocolate mousse. Now sometimes at this time of year, the holiday seasons, you have lots of super delicious desserts but not all of them are suitable for vegans and for those of us who want to keep dairy products to a minimum. But today I'm going to show you how to make the vegan chocolate mousse. It is so simple, it's really delicious and to be honest, your non-vegan friends will probably not even notice that it doesn't have any dairy in it. Now this is quite an unusual recipe because it's made using avocado. Now when I first discovered you could use avocado to make desserts, I thought, well how on earth is that gonna taste good? It cannot? Absolutely, it will. I have a really sweet tooth and I love English desserts because I was born and raised in London. And if I like it, I'm sure you will as well because England makes some of the best desserts in the world. So let's get started. First of all, you need some ripe avocado pears, um, either the two medium or four small ones, make sure they're really ripe. And all you do is, I've kind of peeled and taken out the seeds out of some already, here's one more. So you just use a spoon to scoop it out like so, it's really simple, really easy. So obviously you can see why you need a really ripe one. Ones that are a bit overripe as well are even better. So just scoop it out like so into a bowl. And then you just need to crush it with a fork. And it's really simple to do, really quick. And this is a delicious dessert. You can serve it with um, some nice um, little cookies on the side, make it really flash. So you just crush it like so. And then we're gonna add some other ingredients and then we're gonna put it into a fruit processor. So we're just crushing it to start with to kind of give it a head start when, the, when it goes into the food processor. All right. Okay. So then we're going to add half a cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. You can see this is a quarter of a cup, need half a cup. Half a cup, here we go, of unsweetened cocoa powder. Just fill it up like so. You can sift it if you want to. Let me just get out some of the lumps first of all. And just stir it around like so. So it's going to give it a really rich taste and flavour. So you put that in. Let's get rid of that. You need one and a half tablespoons of vanilla essence so i've got some in here well, we're probably going to use all of what's left in here put that all in there get all of that out there's probably about a tablespoon and a half left in there so i put that in and then we're going to use half a cup of agave syrup agave syrup is this kind of stuff really nice it's really good if you have relatives who are diabetic and so forth or uh, you know on a calorie control diet try to keep sugar to a minimum so we're going to have half a cup of that that one's almost finished so I've got another one here Some people have asked me, can you use honey instead? Honey is not suitable for vegans, because vegans don't like stuff that comes from animals. They're not good with that. So no, you can't use honey instead. But if you're not a vegan and you want to use honey instead, I suppose you could. But then you use that. So you put that in. And that's all there is to it. You can add some vanilla essence if you want as well not vanilla essence, I mean almond extract as well, if you want to. So you stir that up like so. And then now you're going to put it in to a food processor to blend it all up to give it a nice rich taste. All right, just put that in. And it's really quick because as soon as you've made this, it's done and then you can leave it to set in the fridge. So here we go, we put it in our food processor. And you don't need any state-of-the-art, top-of-the-range food processor. Mine is a bottom-of-the-range, low-cost one, because I just that's all I had to find at the moment. You don't need a super-powerful one. 
That one's perfectly fine, it works really well. So put it all in, put the lid on. Make sure you get it on closed tightly. And then you just blitz it like that and this is your chocolate mousse. You have to let it run for a little while first to make sure it's fully combined and it is absolutely delicious. I was really surprised because I just thought, well how is the avocado going to taste? The cocoa powder goes right over the avocado taste. Avocado gives it that wonderful creamy texture. And you can stop it part of the way through to scrape the sides down a bit. Mmm, smells lovely. Scrape it down a bit. Let it run for a little bit longer. going until it all it's all combined and it looks like chocolate mousse. Basically. You'll let it run for a little a short while. And this is something that will kids will like it as well and so rest you can use um, if you're cooking in the kitchen with kids because it's really easy for them to make as well. Um, also if you're a beginner at making vegan foods this is good a good one to have and if you're having a dinner party and you want something really quick to make this is perfect we're almost there all right and I think that's done let me just check it yeah there we go and I'm going to put it into a little ramkin dish so you can put it into like in little individual bowls like this for your guests and it is absolutely delicious for chocolate lovers everywhere this is for you and then you just make it look pretty like that and then on the top to decorate, just you can put some cacao chips, which is kind of like a healthy version of chocolate. I've got some cacao nibs. You just sprinkle a little on top, like so. So it gives it an extra chocolatey kick. And there you have it, your vegan chocolate mousse.